Today, we're going to talk about a new phenomenon called ozempic breast. You've heard about ozempic face already. Today, we're going to talk about ozempic breast. I still feel whether it's ozempic face or ozempic breast, I bet you there's going to be an ozempic tummy coming out later in the future, that it all has to do with what happens when patients lose a large amount of weight and volume. Ozempic, as you know, is an injection that helps with weight loss. And a lot of patients are losing 10, 20, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80 pounds. So there's a wide range of this. And just like dieting and exercise, or just like pregnancy, or even bariatric surgery, anytime patients lose a massive amount of weight, you get weight loss issues, such as drooping of the breast, drooping of the tummy, drooping of the face. So this whole ozempic breast phenomenon, I wouldn't say is anything you know crazy or not to be expected. This is what's expected with weight loss in general. So it's definitely an interesting term, definitely something to realize, and definitely something that patients who undergo a weight loss journey should understand. So how do we fix this? Anytime there's weight loss, oftentimes the skin gets droopier. So now we're talking about some kind of lift. So for the face, we're talking about a facelift. For the breast, we're talking about some type of breast lift. And for the tummy, we're probably talking about some kind of tummy tuck. Specifically, when it comes to ozempic breast, we're talking about some type of breast lifts. There's three different types of breast lifts. From a slang term standpoint, there's the donut lift, which just goes around. There's a lollipop lift that goes around and up and down. And then the anchor lift that goes around, up and down and across. So there are three different types of lift depending on the type that each patient needs. Again, I would speak to your surgeon and you guys can kind of discuss what's best for you. Oftentimes, also with the reduction of volume, patients also want more volume, right? So now we're talking about a breast augmentation on top of a breast lift. So an augmentation will give you fullness, a lift will give you the perkiness, the volume itself will not give you perkiness. So if you have ozempic breasts and they're really saggy and you only do an implant, they're gonna be bigger and saggier. If you need a lift, that does come with some scarring, but that will also get you perkier. So a lot of things to consider here. So for those of you out there that are considering taking Ozempic or undergoing massive weight loss, understand that this is a phenomenon that you might have to deal with in the future. Hope this helps. Hit that like button and follow us for more educational material.